Craven Community College raised the flag in honor of prisoners of war and missing in action recognition day. WNCT's Tamara Scott spoke with one family who shared their story of the loved one they lost. He was David in a world of Goliaths. Corporal George Aswad was also a prisoner of war. About 120 men were held in a schoolhouse with my father. Today, his daughter Christine Gandhi told his story. At night, they were each given a bowl of rutabaga soup, which was a bowl of water with a rutabaga in it. She was the guest speaker at Craven Community College's National Prisoner of War and MIA flag raising. Christine and family members say it was one last way to pay honor to him and others fallen. I was able to talk about my father and share him with other people. I was able to connect with other veterans. I just think it's an amazing to everybody who has served to be honored in this way and to be remembered because we always have to remember. Gandhi hopes it brings awareness to something many people may not think about. They don't understand what what is involved to have all of the things that we take for granted on a daily basis is just stripped from them. The president of the school's Collegiate Veterans Association is also a veteran. He says hearing Aswad's story means so much more than he could have imagined. It was just it was a moving story. I think everybody in the audience was moved by it. The reality of it is that it that it brings it, you know, right to your front doorstep. Gandhi says her father's experience is what made him great, and today's ceremony provided closure. It was a final farewell. In New Bern, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side. George Aswad was an original member of the Brooklyn Key Chapter of American XPOWs. He lived by their slogan, we exist to help those who cannot help themselves.